Hello guys, welcome back. My name's Ash Morant, and as you can see, I have a short video that I did earlier. We're going to unbox the new Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. This is the bad boy there. So, yeah, um, I'll be doing some tests and stuff throughout the week at work as well. Videoing, picturing, front camera, back camera, the battery life, and so forth to see what it's like. And I'll download all my content on the uh, S21 Ultra over to there. Uh, so, yeah, uh, next week will be full of reviews and I'll give you my verdict um, at that time and in six probably seven months time after about the phone so let's unbox this bad boy and see what we've got okay so as you can see camera's facing down I've got everything upside down so I'll try and do this the best I can so here we go this is the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra let's open this bad boy up and as you can see Got it in white as well. Cameras look really nice. A bit weighty than the other one, but nothing major. You can see, S pens underneath there, speakers there, USB C's there, uh, the SIM card trays there. Cameras are all there. Very nice design though. I like the the edge as well. I remember having a note, like a note many moons ago. Um, but I've always traded in to always get the next one up. So yeah, nice design. Nice on the side as well. The back. The other side. And there's the front. So, what else we got in the box? Nothing else in it. Just here. What's in the box? We've got the little chip pin there. Uh, with the little uh, pin to open up the SIM tray. USB C. You get with it as well. You get a quick start menu as well. What else do I get? Uh, other warranties as well, but just warranties. Warranty, warranty, warranty. Dutch, Ireland, France, Spain. What else we got? Something else in there as well. What was that? Oh, just a little plastic bit. Oh, that was off. I think it's for the USB. But that's it. Um, so yeah. That's the opening. I'm going to do a few more tests uh, throughout the week and throughout the day as well. See how we get on. Okay, so as you can tell by the front screen, this is it. Um, I've got it in white. Really, really, really nice phone. Uh, very quick. As you can see by there. I'm still going through it bit by bit, but it is a very, very quick phone. Uh, the display is fantastic. Um, if you don't have the S21 Ultra, uh, I'll leave that to the end. If you should get, if you've got the t uh, S21 Ultra and you're going to the S22 Ultra, if you should get it, um, or if you're not and you're looking for a new phone, um, I I'm literally going to go through this. But as a quick, like quick review of the display, it is phenomenal. I've got it on its highest processing speed, highest display screen, the full works. And yes, stunning, quick, easy. I mean, even through these, no, even through the tracks, I mean, really good display, really nice to handle. I like the edges because in this one, it grooves down. It's taken from the note, of course. Redesigned the note for this uh, for the S. It is fantastic. So let me give you more details about this phone. So, as you can saw, that's the phone. Let's get down to the details of it. Weight, height, size, the works. 
all up here. So, as you can see, 163.3 times 77.9 times 8.9 mm, 229G. Um, it's a little bit weighty than the S21 Ultra, but it's not, but like I said, it's not too bad. Grips well, very nice display, like I said, very nice fan to handle, very nice design. Still 6.8, uh, 6 which is the same as the S21 Ultra. But yeah, a um, little bit heavy, nothing major as a foam, but there you go. That's up there with the height and weight and everything else. The next one is colour. So, as you can see by the image, you can get it in black, burgundy, white, and I think it's light green, um, or dark green, but I've got mine in white. And it's nice gloss back. It's a stunning foam. And yep, I've got it there. But if you go online on Samsung, Samsung have um, exclusives, as you can see here. Stunning meets exclusives, only available at Samsung.com. So you can get like an orange one, a light blue one, and a light, light black one. But that takes like another two weeks on top, or minimum two, maximum uh, a month to get them. Moving on to the next one, which is the glass so it's aluminium frame gorilla glass victus plus don't know if you're interested in all that or not but that's what it is i mean it is a nice aluminium frame gorilla glass yep yeah, it's nice smooth gloss on the back i mean it is a really nice feel and foam to have uh, all that technology i don't know if it's useful to you or not but you know Look after your display, and it will look after you. The next one is water resistant. Uh, it's got uh, an IP68, which is 1.5 meters for 30 minutes down below in the water. So, if you want to take this down below, I mean, I don't personally. I do not take phones under what like I don't believe what they say about that. Even if you want to do an underwater test or something, nah, don't recommend it. Uh, you can buy cases. And the water cases for it that will grip well and yeah um, I'm not doing that but if it's useful for you there you go the next one is the display and screen size so 6.8 inch for this bad boy uh, a dynamic uh, AMOLED two, uh, two times infinity O uh, 3088 times 1440px uh, 500 ppi uh, 1750 nits, which is the brightness of the display, which is really bright. Uh, 1 to, to 120 hertz uh, display as well, and it is, like I said, I showed you earlier, it's quick, um, it's really good, nice display to watch 4K films on if you're watching 4K films on and so forth. But yeah, that's the display and the size of that. It also has this. Which is a, a cure, which I'm reading it by the computer, uh, a Qualcomm 3D Sonic Sensor, which is basically, as you can see by the image, it's 77% larger fingerprint reader area, 1.7 times more bio, uh, biometric data capture, and 50% faster. I mean, that's it there. Let's see if I can do it from there. No, I can't do it from there. No, I still can't do it from there. That was worked. I don't know if it's faster or not. Apparently, it's fifty percent faster. I didn't see the difference between the S twenty one Ultra as well, and this one. It, it loads quicker either way, uh, but it's good if you're interested in that. Um, the next one is for cameras. Um, I will be taking uh, pictures and videos, which we'll see at the end of uh, this video. But you have a selfie forty megapixel camera, uh, f two point two tracker. As you see by this, uh, ultra wide twelve megapixels, uh, f two point two uh, autofocus, primary one hundred and eight megapixel camera, f one point eight OIS, telephoto ten megapixels, f two point four uh, OIS three times the zoom, and you have a pyroscope ten megapixels, f four point nine OIS ten times laser autofocus. Exactly the same on the S21 Ultra. Um, so, yeah, if you've got the S21 Ultra, you move to that for cameras. There's a little bit of improvement, but other than that, that's the same as that. Moving on to the next one. Um, 
it has everything down to uh, 1080p 30 frames per second, 1080p uh, 60 frames per second, 4K 30 frames or 60 frames per second, and it was 8K 24 frames per second. Exactly the same as the ones before and yesterday on Ultra. And as you can see, it's on the new one as well. It has 8 and 12 gigabyte of RAM. Um, I have the 512 gigabyte storage, 12 gigabyte RAM. Um, which is my preference of choice, but they have the 8 or the 12 gigabyte of RAM if you want to get the S22, S22 Plus or the S22 Ultra. It has Android 12 and One UI 4.1 software. I don't know if that's interested to you, but that is that as well. The S Pen, so the S Pen, which is right underneath here. Come out there. This is a really good pen. It's really quick. I mean, if you're interested in the S Pen, go for it. Um, it's supported with the S21 Ultra, which you, you have to buy separately, but this comes with it. But yes. S Pen uh, 2.8 MS uh, uh, late uh, latency, which is included. It's really good. It also has a feature. Uh, I think a feature which I, I don't think I've seen before. Where uh, if you leave your pen about and you walk away from it, it'll indicate tell you where you've like you know your, your pen's not in your phone, and then you can go back and get it and stuff like that. But if you like drawing and so forth, if that's interested to you, there you go. That's that there. Battery life, so 500mAh, which is the one in the previous phone, the S21 Ultra. Is it good? Yeah, there's been a lot of videos come out that it's it wastes battery quick. I don't know. I'll find that out for you during the week. Um, but yep, 500mAh. 45 watt charging as well. 15 watt QI wireless charging, wireless power share sold separately. So you still get your wireless power share at the back, so you can, like your headphones, your watch, and so forth. 45 watt charging is sold separately, and a 15 watt QI wireless charger sold separately. Um, I don't know how much the wireless charging is sold separately. But the 45 watt charging on Samsung.com is 39 pounds. On Amazon, I think it's thirty-two, thirty-three pounds. So, if you're interested in that, Amazon's the best choice. It has stereo speakers as well. It has one hundred twenty-eight, two hundred fifty-six, five hundred twelve, and one terabyte storage. I have the two hundred fifty-six because that's my preference. I use that to about hundred and something, minimum hundred, hundred thirty. But yep, yeah, that's that. So that's up there if you're uh, interested. Prices at launch. So. 8 plus 128 gig, uh, yeah, uh, 8 of RAM plus 128 gigabyte in US, $1,200 in the UK, 1149 I got the second one down below, 12 uh, gigabyte of RAM, 256 $1,300, £1,249, uh, 12 gigabyte of RAM plus 512 gigabyte storage, $1,399, £1,329. 12 gigabyte RAM at one terabyte storage, $1,600 and £1,500. So, if you're interested in either one of them, those are the ones to go for. I had the 12 uh, plus 256 gigabyte at $1,249. And also, I, I, I'll tell you, I traded my old phone for the new one. I do it every year, and it knocks off 500 quid. So, yeah. And that's it. So, I'm going to take pictures and videos for you, and I will tell you my full end results of it. So, have a watch, see what you think.
So, as you can see, this is 1080p, 60 frames per second, selfie on the front facing camera. Um, and it's not too bad at all. It's nice because you've got uh, the nice display of the phone as well. And it, 1080p, front facing camera, 60 frames per second. So that's also nice as well. And as you can see by here, this is 4K, 60 frames per second. Nice and smooth on the front facing selfie camera. And as you, it's also nice and smooth as I'm walking down here to work. 4K, 60 frames per second on the front facing camera. And of course, of the S22 Ultra display, it's really, really nice. So yeah, that comes out well as well. So guys, that is it. Um, as I've only done a little few pictures, a little few vids. Um, so I'm still getting used to the camera, even though I've had the same one before, the S21 Ultra, and I've moved over to the S22 Ultra. I'm still playing around with it with the cameras and so forth. But that's a few examples. Um, it's a great phone. There's some... Samsung's have made great content phones. Um, the cameras are nicer. The nighttime tele uh, the nighttime photo detail. I haven't done it yet, but I will put up some videos and photos at night as well uh, when I do my recording. Because sometimes if I can't get to my computer, can't get to my webcam or this camera here, my Sony uh, ZV1, then I'll just be in bed recording for this and finding information about anything and everything and give you what video I can give you but if you have the S21 Ultra should I get the S22 Ultra? in my personal opinion the only difference is there's two sorry there's three the only difference is the screen where you log on when you put your thumbprint on is 50% times faster the difference of the uh, of the um, edges as well. It's the design of it, which is here. So yeah, that's the only difference. It's edge to edge. It's, and the third thing is the cameras have improved a little bit. For an example, you know the the nighttime photos at dark, night shot. So you've got night shot mode. Oh, you can't see it from there, but there's on the bottom right hand corner, you've got night sh uh, shot mode, which makes the screen brighter. And then you've got in detailed enhancer, which makes the, the makes the um, it makes the photo more detailed with like little bits, um, you know, like the minimum of grain on your photos. It makes it more um, more better by a bit. Nothing major, but if you're a photo photographer or video photographer and you desperately want it for cameras, yeah, upgrade. But other than that, there's no, not really much to upgrade. I, uh, I upgrade every year because I don't really spend much on myself. And that's always me. Every year I get that, I get the um, whatever phone comes on top, and that's just me. But that's it. So, is there any point? Yes, only for the cameras. If you want it for. A little bit of improvement on the cameras, then yeah, go ahead. But other than that, no, you can still keep the phone for another year. You know, you never know. We can go up more pixels and whatever Samsung decides to bring out, they'll decide to bring out. But who knows? Um, but that's my opening. Six months' time, I will give you an update in August. So it's February. Uh, it's the 1st of March now, but in, yeah, but in um, August... I'll give you my uh, full review of the phone, of the photos, of the videos, because I would have had some out by then to see how it goes and how the battery is handling it. You know, I'm in hospitality, I do 12 hour shifts and I come home with 20%, not too bad. And sometimes I use my phone to take orders as well from the Samsung Notes. Yeah, I get about 15 to 20% battery for the whole day. That's not too bad, considering there were reports saying the battery's worse. A little bit worse than the S21 Ultra. I don't think it is. I think it's the same. But who? But hey ho, it is what it is. Um, like I said, thank you very much for watching, guys. If you want a, more updates or if leave a comment, tell me what you want out of me. I will give you my answers about everything. And yeah, that's it. Thank you very much as well for the 66 subscribers. Really fortunate. I appreciate you. You guys subscribe, of course. And if you're new, subscribe. 
I've got uh, 49ers American Football News, trying to get more trailer reactions out without copyright law, and movie reviews as well. So I'm doing a lot more of that. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video.